So we got this 2011 Chevy Cruze, 1.8, 127,000 miles, leaking oil real bad. Just started within the last couple of months. Uh, I've been doing regular maintenance to this vehicle for a while. So I'm looking and it's like, no, this thing's had a new oil cooler before. And is it the head? No. It wasn't the head leaking. The timing cover started leaking water and oil because of the gasket being so bad. And Well, not the timing cover. Sorry, the timing is in front of it. It's the front engine cover and it's underneath the timing belt. So you got to remove, you know, the cam phasers and you take the oil pan out. You got to take the valve cover off so you can lock everything. Uh, and then here's the gasket that goes in between. That was pissing out really bad. And then when I pulled the cam phaser off, the gasket with that was already, or the seal for that was still stuck to this. And it had been pissing out. And this is, this is the real, real culprit of what's going on here. Even this one's not securely in there. I mean, look at it. They're falling out. And then there's a cover behind the cam phaser. You look and see how bad it was actually leaking out of there. And it got to the point where it needed done. I didn't want it to run out of oil or uh, cause the belt to slip in there at all. And then do some serious head damage. But, yeah, valve cover, front end cover, all timing components, which it's getting new while it's going back together. You know, the whole oil pan, the exhaust, I don't know what you can see down there. No, oil pan's gone, exhaust hanging. AC compressor off, alternator off and out of the way. Unbolting bolts for the uh, cooling for the oil cooler, which is behind the exhaust manifold. What a way to keep that cool. Way to go, GM. Yeah. Now we got uh, all the new parts go in line here. Excuse the mess. But we got new seals, an upper radiator hose for that thing because it was tore up. We got the new gasket. You see how that one doesn't look so tore up there. And we got a uh, microguard filter, right stuff, can't go wrong with that. A Cloy's timing set, you know, belt. And, uh,. Pulley and tensioner. A few cans of brake clean. You'll need that for the job. Exhaust mounting hardware. It broke. Miscellaneous oil rings that need replaced. Gotta have it. Some synthetic oil for the job. Some 100% antifreeze so you can dilute when you're putting it back together. And, uh... We'll call it a day. It's a pretty good amount of hours into this. And then I still got to put it all back together yet. But uh, that's mechanics life, I guess. <laughs>